Good evening, everyone. We changed it up tonight with the music, trying something new. I might have heard we might have been sick of Unstoppable, which I understand. But welcome to She. She builds, she owns, she invests. She is me and she is you. We are a dynamic group of driven women from all different backgrounds and walks of life who have joined forces to help each other create generational wealth build meaningful relationships with other women, attain personal, professional, and spiritual growth. It's our mission to empower and inspire our members to become capable and successful individuals who give back to the community. We provide a safe and su supportive place to learn, discuss, collaborate, so that you feel empowered to take on the world. Today, we are so excited to have a special guest, and Candace, I'll let you introduce her. Yes, yes. Welcome, everyone. This evening, we have Dr. Fadwa Gilianders in the house, and she is a powerhouse in all things wellness. Uh, she's a follower of Jesus Christ, a wife, a mother, an American patriot, and an activist. She holds, holds the title Doctor of Clinical Pharmacy, PharmD. Uh, she founded Apple Cross Wellness LLC. She believes in natural and holistic medicine and graduated from Wayne State University woo, woo, with a traditional two-year doctorate in pharmacy in 2000. And she completed a residency at Detroit Medical Center at Harper Hospital and pursued a career specializing in adult chronic disease management through her 25 years of experience, she realized the limits of mainstream medical medicine, such as limited freedom of choice for treatments between doctors and patients, limited efficacy of treatment outcomes while dealing with increased costs and side effects. Ultimately, the doctor has come to realize these limitations and restrictions in medical freedom and body autonomy. There, these limitations um, restrict people's freedoms. And she is with us this evening. We're going to let her tell her story. And uh, welcome, Dr. Fadba. Wow, I'm so thankful. Hey. Thank you so much. I forgot how long that bio is. I got to shorten that thing up. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Um, it sounds a lot more. Well, anyways, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I am really honored to be here uh, amongst all you wonderful, wonderful women and entrepreneurs and just mommies and wives and daughters and sisters. Uh, really an honor. So just, I won't uh, belabor this. I'll, I'll quickly get started. So yeah, I'm a doctor of clinical pharmacy. So I have a PharmD. So if you think of it like an MD, I have a PharmD. And so um I've spent 25 years working side by side with physicians. My specialty is chronic disease. So I'm, you know, uh, heart disease, diabetes, kidney disorders, usually uh, primarily adult internal medicine and family practice. And as I was going through the years of uh, starting my work with, with one of the major health systems here in Detroit, I started realizing um, there's some things that don't seem to be connecting the dots. And I came from no background of holistic medicine whatsoever. We weren't taught it in school, um, very basic, you know, some vitamin C, D, like really basic stuff, like D in Michigan, because we don't have much sun here, stuff like that. But nothing that would say like, hey, why don't you take this instead of your blood pressure agent? Or why don't you, you know, do this? Um, and then some diet changes, right? Like we just lower our carbon take or sugar for diabetes, like really, really basic stuff. And I started noticing peanut allergies in children. I started noticing uh, a lot of eczema in children. I started noticing a lot of gut issues with people that they've never had before. And I started seeing a rise from oral medicines to in biologic infusibles. So um, things for like rheumatoid arthritis, uh, psoriasis, multiple sclerosis, uh, Crohn's disease, Crohn's disease started going up really high around my tenure. And as I was reading the studies, 
the numbers weren't changing. So we have like all these brand new medications that come out that are supposed to be innovative. Oh, we found this whole new mechanism in your body. And now we have this drug for this new mechanism. And, you know, we're going to like, we're going to beat this diabetes for sure. And you just find people gaining weight more. You find them more fatigued. Their blood sugars aren't getting better. I mean, for one diabetic, I could easily put them on five meds just for their diabetes alone, just for their diabetes alone. And so I started to, um, well, actually the Lord spoke to me while I was grocery shopping. We were coming back from uh, a cruise. My husband and I finally got my doctorate. He got his master's. There's no food in the house. So I go to get food. <laughs> and like I said, I came from nothing. I've, I only had my job for about a year. I'm going to go get us something to eat. And the Lord clearly spoke to me. This, this only happened. I can count on one hand where I can clearly hear the Lord speak. Right. Um, and he said, there's nothing to eat here. Stay around the outside perimeter. Nothing to eat here. I come home with just eggs and orange juice. <laughs> and my husband's like, um, what is this? And I said, I don't know. The Lord said there's nothing to eat here. So I got online and the Lord led me to functional foods. And I said, did you know food could heal you? Like, I never knew it could heal you. Like, I knew it won't raise your sugar, but I wasn't connecting the dots. I didn't think I can eat something that can actually maybe heal a condition that I have, like, you know, avocado or go keto or whatever the case may be. And I wanted to open up a wellness center right away. And my husband's like, we're, we're broke. <laughs> it's like, we just got our degrees. You're going back to work. You're not opening up a wellness center. So in the meantime, I started learning it. So I just started studying on my own. I was, I was going to conferences and all, and I couldn't even get, I couldn't even get continuing education credit for it. They don't give it to pharmacists. They'll give it to doctors, but they won't give it to clinical pharmacists. So all of it was on my dime. And I started integrating. So I'm going to give you the evolution of what got me to here with biohacking, which is the main thing I'm going to be discussing, but here's the evolution of it. It got me to, okay, let's get cute vitamin C and D. Let's start incorporating it, B complexes for anxiety. And so I started calling it integrative medicine. And then I started calling it complementary medicine. I'm going to complement what I'm already, what, what we already have you on. And my docs loved it. You know, uh, my employer loved it. They had me do a lot of talks for them. They they wanted me to work with the registered dietitians and kind of like complement this together because it was very non-controversial. I wasn't talking about therapy. I was just talking about being healthy. And then I started realizing, I said, wait a minute, if I'm giving a patient or if I'm suggesting a B-complex for a patient or, you know, uh, arginine or whatever, I am obviously want a therapeutic outcome for it. Oh, and by the way, my disclaimer for today, I, can, I do not pronounce, I don't promise any I, prevention, diagnosis, everything I discussed with you is for entertainment research purposes and has not been um, approved by the FDA. So I'm saying. glad, I'm glad you mentioned that. It's good to, to have that kind of a disclaimer out here. And Dr. Fadwa, before we get really into your topics today, where are you from and where are you living right now? Yeah, I live in um, Southeast Michigan. Okay. Um, just just 25 minutes from Detroit. We're in Michigan. Nice, nice. And where are you from? Been a Michigander all my life. First generation, Jordanian. Really? Yeah. What? First generation. And let me tell you, I was raised in Shelby Township, Michigan, where it was all farmland. And it was the best. Although I got bullied quite a bit, I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't change it for the world. It was all farmland. I was raised Catholic. They would pick us up every Wednesday for catechism. We did the Pledge of Allegiance. I mean, it was the best. Of course, I was the only unibrow girl in the whole school, but that's okay. <laughs> that is totally okay. I am not bitter about it whatsoever. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. It was a great experience. I mean, yeah, you know, I got made fun at a lot and so forth, but it was all Americana back then. I mean, and I, I had no idea what was being planted inside of me at that time. It was just what we did. You know, we went to catechism once a week. We did the Pledge of Allegiance once. We even prayed in school once a week. It was a lot of fun. Oh. We learned how to look up our own books and the card catalog, you know, and competencies with reading and just, it was good times, really good times. So yeah, so that's where I'm from. I'm sorry. Did I, did I, do I need No, to that was good. That's you great. Me. You that's lead good. me, you lead me, girlfriend. So um, 
when I started realizing as I was studying and going to these conferences and learning the therapeutic benefits behind the supplements, I started saying, oh, well, wait a minute. This is not as cutesy as I thought. Like we can, I can actually do something here. And that took a while for me to wrap my arms around that. How was I going to use it <laughs> um, with my employer? How was I going to explain it to my patient? Um, it, 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 and at that time, most patients didn't ask for it. So I didn't offer. But if I saw a patient with like six or seven supplements, we would take time to go over it and make sure they were good supplements, good quality and so forth. And the majority of the time, the patients would say to me, well, I just take them just because I think they're good for me. It's like, you know, I take my multivitamin, I eat my avocado toast. I did something good for myself. And most of it was preventative. And I let them know, I'm like, well, you obviously wanted something out of it. You you were hoping it would accomplish something. You took biotin because you were hoping it'll make your hair thicker. You were hoping your nails would get stronger. I mean, you took it for a reason. And the more I started connecting these dots, the more I started moving away from allopathic medicine and really focusing totally on supplements. Fast forward to COVID. So COVID happens and we learned fairly quickly, thank the Lord, fairly quick. I would say within two to three weeks, we learned really quick, vitamin C, zinc, quercetin, the two prescription drugs that are out there and um, turmeric. And so I started helping uh, patients uh, learn how to incorporate these supplements. I was help. I was learning about our religious exemptions, our laws, what, what what's behind our laws. How do you sign up for a waiver? How do you write a letter? How do you do these things? Um, I started working with other physicians who are in the medical freedom realm that were doing the same thing. And then my husband said to me, he's like, you need to open up Apple Cross Wellness. Like now is the time. So, so that, yeah, please. Yeah, just, just so... Yeah, Speaking of that specifically, I know, you know, as a Christian in the medical field, I think it's good for us for you to share your, some of your background about how you stayed grounded spiritually, because um, Western and Eastern medicine are very different in a lot of ways, right? And um, I know you are a very strong spiritual being and a Christian. And being in the medical field, it's not always easy um, with your religious values and your religious background being in the medical field. So tell us a little bit more about that and, and how you maneuvered through that. Okay, that's a really good question. So I'm 50 years old. So when I started, a lot of that wasn't happening. It started happening about the last 10 years over the last 10 years, were there questionable things socially? So I'll give you one good example. The first thing that crossed my path was prophylaxis for the homosexual population to prevent them from having HIV. So we have drugs that you can take if you are sexually active, homosexual to prevent HIV. And I remember when this first drug came out, I was like, you know, what do I do about this? Um, I didn't have a lot with um, birth control at the time where I was at. Um, I had a, I, I had an older patient population, so I wasn't dealing with, with birth control. And I wasn't dealing with a lot of vaccines either because I wasn't seeing a lot of kiddos. Um, and at that time, it was mostly pneumovax or menococcal and flu were the three big vaccines at that, at that time in, in my realm of demographic patients. So when that drug first came out, that was my first time um, approaching my boss and saying, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can really review these cases, you know, and I already had and, and continued to have till this day, my, I just quit my job September 1st, a good reputation within my practice, within the group of people that I'm with. I think what's really important is that being love and light, no matter what is happening, and not showing that you're, you've got like this division, like I cannot possibly work on that patient, but be able to be love and light and be able to be a team player. Like, okay, I can't work on this patient population, but I will be happy to do these other things for you that to carry that load. And they have to acknowledge it. They have, they have to, um, they have to accommodate your religious convictions as in the last 10 years, specific, more, more specifically, the last five was a lot more gender dysphoria. 
So especially in girls between the age of 18 and 24, I was seeing a lot more, um, and they come in threes. So we call them mental, emotional behavior, MEBs. That's a brand new, um, well, it's a fairly new diagnosis, meaning that the mental illnesses are coming in threes. So we're seeing ADHD, we're seeing depression and anxiety. And the majority of these girls were more prone to want to take testosterone and feel that they were uh, men. They wanted to be men rather than stay the female that they are. Again, I um, went to my boss. She knew exactly why I was coming to her. And she said, Fadwa, we know, we know your, your spiritual stances. You don't have to work on these cases. Because they were basically um, going to be, you know, if you're working on those cases, you're going to have to be prescribing medication or um, therapy that maybe you didn't agree with, basically. Right, right. especially for 18 and under. Mm-hmm. Now, again, mm-hmm. I had a line. I was willing to do 19 and over. Mm-hmm. I was willing to take a look at them as adults, but not a 14-year-old kid. Sure. Yeah. But then the more mm-hmm. this started happening, and like with the ivermectin, right? And the more these things start happening, the more I'm like, well, what does it matter if my colleague who's sitting next to me is approving it and I'm not, I'm letting it happen. Mm-hmm. I'm still letting it happen. Mm-hmm. And although um, my employer can't stop me from speaking out, as long as I always say, these are my opinions as an independent citizen, I'm not representing my employer. And I would always say my employer, I would never say the name of where I worked. Mm -hmm. that I was within the guidelines of um, my contract. Mm -hmm. So all of that, sorry to jump in, but so all of that being said with, you know, it coming in threes and all of these symptoms and things that are happening right now, how, so one, what is functional food and how is functional food playing a part in all of this to help get people off pills or meds and heal what they're feeling right now? Can you kind of, uh, shed some light on that, on what it is functional food and how it's helped you and how it can help others. Yeah. So that's a different part of the question. So I just want to, I just, no, I'm going to answer you right now. I just want to close up that one last loop. Okay. I also came to the conclusion of this. We still need Christians in the medical field. And I finally realized, um, even after I quit that people really don't know what they're doing. And uh, if you, if you, if you think you're the opposite sex, you don't know what you're doing. (laughs) Okay. You're not well. And so now the functional food question, I've gone from the functional food to now evolving from supplements to now going to cellular nutrition to biohacking. So biohacking is a form of experimentation, self-experimentation that you do for yourself. It's safe. I mean, there's some creepy ones out there, but I'm talking about the safe ones. So a a really good example is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is a form of biohacking. It helps to turn on a system in our body called autophagy. That autophagy helps increase levels of NAD, which is niacin, activated niacin. And niacin is the CEO of our cell. It is the one component that actually um, repairs DNA, repairs misfolding of proteins and enzymes. So NAD and autophagy is really important. Um, One particular uh, mental illness condition um, that is usually from an injury, autism, for example, they have autophagy, um, like an autophagy dysfunction. They have a hard time spiking NAD. And you'll see a plethora of studies showing the correlation between low NAD levels and um, mental illness. And mental illness is my, my major my major niche, but that's one form of biohacking. Another form of biohacking is using infrared saunas and infrared light, cryotherapy, or taking really cold showers and then taking really hot showers. Why? Because what happened when, when COVID happened, the one thing, I, and I apologize, I never finished my thought, was what, what COVID revealed for people like me who who was already studying the alternative way, um, a component in our cell called the mitochondria that we've never seen since like first grade, uh, ninth grade biology or biology 101 as a prerequisite before you go into medical school. And the mitochondria, we we make it, it, it's in our cells and from it, we make glutathione. And glutathione is the primary antioxidant of our body. 
That is the antioxidant that mops up all that oxidative stress and damage that we accumulate over the years. And the reason why at the time when the, the pandemic happened, you saw, you know, they said, oh, the elderly, those with diabetes, those that are overweight um, had a higher rate of death was because they didn't as we age, we make less mitochondria. We make less. And the mitochondria we do make is not very efficient. And so when COVID happened, it, sh it shook the body, all of our bodies in such a way that all the inflammation happened all at one time. See, we used, to, there's different kinds of inflammation. I'll give you a common one that you know, like histamine. Histamine is allergies, right? We know histamine. Itchy, watery eyes is histamine. We'll take a Zyrtec, we'll take Claritin, what have you. That's one type of inflammation. The other one that you heard of during COVID was cytokine storm, right? Where people couldn't breathe. There was all the cytokines that was happening there. But we didn't know that histamine, cytokines, interleukins, bradykinins, and all these things were all happening at the same time. And there wasn't enough mitochondria to produce enough glutathione to really help reduce that oxidative stress. And whatever genetic damage you already had, being diabetic, being diabetic, having high blood pressure, uh, fibromyalgia, cancer, whatever the case may be, obviously your body was already busy trying to repair that before even dealing with a virus. And so at the time I was still in the supplement realm and I was working a lot with the vitamin C and the D and the zinc. And the more that I was studying the mitochondria, the more I was studying cellular nutrition, the more I was realizing our body doesn't like to work like this, a receptor, right? So here's like a shape of a drug, here's the shape of the cell and they fit together and they elicit an outcome, lower blood pressure, lower blood sugar. Supplements do the same thing. A B complex has a certain shape and it's gonna fit inside a certain system and they're gonna connect together like a glove but that's not how the body wants to work. The body wants to communicate with genetic code signaling. We are a walking mathematic phenomena. 78% of us is our body is made out of water. That water has vibration. That water has frequency. That water has memory. That water has a charge. It helps to heal cells. Our cells have a charge. That's why when you go on vacation, right? You go somewhere nice. You pick somewhere nice on purpose. There's particular areas that you want to go to on purpose because it makes you feel good. Is that because you just want to go to go? I mean, I guess there's some people that want to explore the world and they want to explore and see things, but but that's also a frequency. It, it makes you feel good. We connect with the earth. We connect with each other. Like we're all smiling on, on the Zoom right now. Why? You know, we're all like, like, we're all women and we're all excited and we're all on the same page. We're connecting and that's therapeutic. That actually elevates us. I told my husband, I said, when I get off the Zoom, I'm, I'm probably gonna need like a shot of vodka or something. I would be so like, you know, <laughs> wired. wired. Cause yes. I'm so excited. I mean, I don't really need it, but you yeah. know what I mean? I'm, I'm, so I'm gonna, it's gonna, uh, how am I gonna go to sleep tonight? I'm gonna be so happy that I connected with you. So that's, that's like, a form so of biohacking. Um, and, and, and then, and then lastly, um, I just will close with this. So you guys can ask me some questions. We don't need as much in our bodies. We thought we did. So if you look in the shelf and I go back to B complexes, it's a very easy one. Most people are on B complexes or a multivitamin and you turn the bottle around and you look at the dosing, it's kind of high. Like you don't need 1200 milligrams of folate or B12. Like your body does not need that much or even 800 micrograms or whatever. It needs just a little bit and it needs it synergistically. So it wants all the nutrients to kind of complement each other. And they like, they like dance together, give the cell exactly what it needs. And then you turn the cell on. Well, why are our cells turned off to begin with? They're turned off to begin with because we're dehydrated and we're malnourished. And no matter, and I mean, I have, I have a lot of patients and they'll say, I, I eat clean. I'm super, super clean. And I'm sure they are. I try to be super clean too, but it's hard to be super clean with USDA organic with 40% of it is still pesticides, right? It's so hard to be. Was, super, yeah, yeah. That's, that really leads me to my next question because, yeah. because as Western doctor, American, uh, you know, American patients, we have been conditioned right? Whether it's take a pill, it'll make you better. Take a vitamin, it'll make you better, right? Um, 
I know one of the statistics that I, I most recently uh, received from my functional medicine physician was that Americans digest the size of a plastic credit card of plastic through all the food that we eat in this kind of thing. Can you give us some, some very valuable tips on how we can be clean? Because you're all about treating the body at the cellular level and not just taking the vitamins three times a day and you know getting the water in. There's lots of other things that we can do um, practically in our everyday life that I think you can give some tips on and, and then we can, you know, have people reach out to you for, you know, additional help. 100%. So I have been so thankful. I work with three different companies. Every time the Lord sheds a new health light for me, he leads me to a new company about glutathione or about the mitochondria. The most recent company that I'm working with right now is the comp this company is fully aware of what's going on. They're called Root Brands. And I have, I'll put my website up here again. You can find it on my shop page. But now that we're in the biohacking realm and we're never going back, we are in technology. As a matter of fact, if I, if I could, I wanted to, sh I don't have to share my screen, but if you go under pubmed.gov, it'll say in National Institute of Health. Underneath it, it'll say biotechnology. We are now biotechnology science. Uh, biohacking is a form of science. So we have to learn how are we going to live under 5G, EMF, appeal from Bill Gates, the appeal that's like the shellac over your fruits and vegetables, which he says is a technology-based product. We have to learn to keep our DNA strong to handle what comes, what, you know, what's coming our way. In the meantime, of course, we're at, you know, we're activists, you know, Zen Honeycutt with moms across America is doing what she can and getting moms to fight glyphosate being sprayed on our, on our grass and five G's by our schools. I mean, don't stop being an activist, but what we need to do is we need to be able to move, move out these metals, these plastics, these parasites, and these fungus in a safe and effective manner and I'm so glad you asked the question because the word detox has become such a loose word. You can't even say it in Europe unless you're a medical doctor. It is a medical term. And any health and wellness company that just throws around the word detox, like it's easy. It's not easy to pull a metal out of your cell. Now that cell is going to collapse. It's been filled with metal. It's collapsing. It lost its charge. It needs to be regenerated. So you want to have a product that not only pulls the metal, but immediately, simultaneously eradicates it into pieces so you can get eliminate, so you can get rid of it, and then immediately refill it with orthobioavailable silica, trace minerals, and vitamin C. And it's in one bottle that does that. It's called Clean Slate. And please go under my website to get it um, out of respect for the business. Um, and why is that important? Metals draw parasites. Parasites draw fungus. Fungus is what we're trying to control. And as a matter of fact, um, 5G, if you're carrying any mold inside of you, mold is, is magnetized with 5G. It actually multiplies when you're close to 5G. So keep your phone as far away from you as you can. Keep it on airplane mode as, as often as you can, especially when you're sleeping. If you're able to turn off Wi-Fi during the night while everyone's sleeping, you'll try to reduce your EMF exposure, your 5G exposure as much as you're able. Don't keep it on your person. Don't keep it on your hand. Don't keep it on your lap. It's causing infertility. It's causing blood issues. But this clean slate will, will pull all these toxins and immediately refill that cell with orthobioavailable silica, trace minerals, trace minerals and vitamin C. Now the silica is important because silica is the second largest quantity of mineral of the earth's crust. And if we look at our software and we think of technology and being that we're Christian, we can see the spiritual side of this. We're seeing two types of systems happening. We're seeing, you know, like Silicon Valley, we're seeing the hardwire computers that need silica chips and we need bioavailable silica and our software too in order to run so we don't get viruses 
like computers get viruses. I love that analogy. Yeah. So one of the questions uh, Brooke just threw in the chat, um, you know, was putting your phone on do not disturb. Does that count or does it have to be airplane mode? It needs to be airplane mode or just keep it as far, as far away from you as possible. Another thing you can use, I just had them with me and I just put them away, air tubes. So instead of um, Bluetooth um, earbuds, these are called air tubes. Um, so see that big, see the big long tube here? And these are EMF protecting. Yes, you got to hook them up to your phone so you can't go too far. But, you know, if you're sitting and working and listening to music or you're, you know, having a conference or what have you, it's, it's fine. Um, and then if, if you, when you're going to work out, if you want to use the ear, you know, the Bluetooth ones for working out for an hour, I mean, it's better than having them in your ear all day long. I was just uh -huh. going to say, so those of us who use these AirPods all day long, you're telling me that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, don't. This is what you want to use. Air tubes. Okay. Especially if you're sitting. If you're sitting, you're close to your phone. I mean, it's not like you're going to, you know, right. you can't go far. But if you're exercising or you're going to go for, well, even if you go for a walk, I still use my air tubes, but mostly for exercising or you need to walk away from your phone for a particular reason, you know, an hour here or there is not going to like break the bank, but for every day, 24 hours a day, yeah, you want to get those out of your ears. Most I definitely. love that you're giving us tools and things that we can do as of now. I know you gave us clean slate to yeah. help with metals. So what other tools other than clean slate and the air tubes can we use to combat what's going on in our bodies before jumping into functional um, foods? Well, functional foods is just basically trying to eat as clean as you possibly can. Functional medicine, so, I'm sorry. Yeah, so we're still, <laughs> we're, we're, you're yeah. going to be mostly biohacking now. We're all in the biohacking realm. So okay. we're at a place now where you don't, you're not going to really stop any of these cellular nu nutrients. You're going to be on them for life. Clean slate is a maintenance thing that you'll take for life. The other thing that will go with it really well is um, zero in and uh, restore. So we call it the Trinity. Uh, zero in is fantastic. It has turmeric in it, velvet beans, uh, velvet beans seed in it. And it, it is probably the most powerful nootropic. We call it brain food. We are all going to need to find a way to reduce the swelling in our brain to allow us to stay focused and sober-minded, especially in the realm of AI. We gotta stay sober-minded. And these are great for kiddos. That's why I have such a passion for kids. Harry Truman said, a nation is only as healthy as their children. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you have a kid on Adderall or Ritalin, they're getting this revved up. And I just, I just got the phone with a mom two days ago for her kid, her son. You're going to get this revved up uh, levels of dopamine. You're going to get all these receptors, you know, these, that lock and key, all these receptors are going to come out looking for that shape. And eventually it'll work for like a month and then you got to go up on the dose and then you become tolerant. And again, because that's not how the body communicates, you're, you're doing all this upfront stuff and everything back here is not getting the right communication. So what zero in does, it works in the gut and it works with our vagus nerve. Our vagus nerve is our 10th cranial nerve. It's a wandering nerve. So it goes from our brain through our chest and into our intestinal tract, into our abdomen. And you remember hearing about that gut brain access? Well, this is the gut brain access. You um, are able to take that zero in, it goes into the bloodstream and it's able to convert to dopamine and serotonin. A lot of, you know, you might ask the question, well, what about probiotics then? You know, we, we've done probiotics for the gut brain access. Because we know that our gut doesn't have very good bacteria. It's got some pathogenic bacteria in it. I don't have an issue with probiotics. The one, but, but the concern I have with probiotics, remember the body likes to communicate. It's a signaler. And if you give it something like 50 billion units or billion units of bugs, even if they're good bugs, those bugs have a voice, you're putting them in a place in your body that hasn't been prepped in a really good, you know, you have a leaky gut. You have a lot of pathogenic, it's almost like, you know, Dr. Rahm, she's the bioscience engineer that formulated root brands. She's only one of 20 bioscience engineers in the world. She knows about nanotechnology and she, she calls your body like a city and you're like the mayor, you know, and if you're going to go put all this good bacteria in your gut, you got a gang of pathogenic bacteria, like bring it on. 
And a lot of times these patients feel really bloated. They're like, I took this probiotic and I feel worse. Well, yeah, because you don't have enough mitochondria to signal with it. Your gut wasn't ready to take on those probiotics. So zero in helps to heal the gut, allow for appropriate um, conversion from dopamine to serotonin and to melatonin. Like I, there's a company, I'm not even gonna mention their name. You know, they're talking about melatonin gummies for your kids. Your kids should be on melatonin gummy. I mean, I can understand you're having a bad night. I mean, I'm not saying, I don't live in ideal and absolutes, but if your kid has to take melatonin gummies all the time and they can't learn to make their own, and it's not that they can learn on their own, but you don't help their body make their own melatonin. We have a problem. You're just masking right. the situation. Yeah. And the other part of the Trinity is called restore, which, so as we clean with clean slate, as we balance with the neurotransmitters through the vagus nerve, vagus, by the way, is a healing nerve. That's your parasympathetic nerve. So if you think of your sympathetic, that fire or flight, right? You see a bear in the room and you run, that type of thing. The parasympathetic comes and calms you. That's your healing nerve. So restore helps to restore the gut. It has aloe vera, apple cider vinegar, turmeric, black cumin seed, all at micro level doses that work synergistically. So all of these ingredients contain vitamin D, K, C, zinc. Those are all within those plants and seeds. And if you want to talk about clean, you will not see on any of these bottles, USDA organic. They are a hundred percent organic. They're global company. So she goes with the strictest country on organic. Um, they have the gold seal of, um, banned substances. They don't have banned, they don't, they don't have any substances in their, um, products. And she takes the non GMO seed and she ensures that that seed is the same seed as the parent root. So if she's using turmeric, she's making sure that seed is following the parent root of where it came from and that there's, and it's clean. So that's clean. <laughs> so yeah. you can assimilate it. Your body doesn't find it strange. Um, it does come with an ebook. When you register, I will give you an ebook so you can dose the clean slate slowly because detoxing is not something you want to rush. Um, and you'll work up to a certain amount of uh, drops per day. And the restore is really helpful to help continue the removal of all those toxins and really help seal up that gut and give you the balance of bacteria that your body um, can do. Well, I'm, I'm sure the ladies are going to enjoy uh, learning more. And I know we put your website and all the information on how to get a hold of you to, to be coached through this kind of process. But before we open up for questions, because I know there's a bunch of questions, um, I know you have history because you and I are Wayne State buds and we have history uh, going back. Um, and I know you uh, had a had a brief um stint in real estate. So I wanted to have you share just briefly, um, what does she builds, she owns, and she invests mean to you personally, because you don't necessarily, you're not obviously a realtor, <laughs> but um, you have built your own business, you own uh, your own company now. Um, and I know you do investing. So just share with me what that means for you. What does that mean for me? Oh, my word. How do I do that without babbling? <laughs> um, you know, I told my dad this. My dad is an entrepreneur. You know, he's an immigrant and he's he's very wealthy. And he would watch me study uh, during pharmacy school. And he'd tap me on the head and he'd say, oh, poor Fadwa. He goes, no matter how how high you go in your degree, I'll still make more money than you. <laughs> and I remember, and so when I, and I never really understood what that meant because immigrant families help, they want their children to get degrees. And I finally said to my dad about five years ago, I said, that was the worst thing you made me do. I said, you should have taken me under your wing and like made me an entrepreneur. It <laughs> is the most, I mean, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's your dreams. It's your vision. It's who you are. You want to share it with people. And, you know, I feel like I'm starting late. Um, and sometimes I have panic attacks, especially dealing like with the digital side. Like I was watching you guys advertise for this webinar and I was just like blown away. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. If I do a reel, it's like take one. Whatever happened to that reel, you're going to see it. Like it does not, I don't know how to trim it. I don't know how to do anything to that reel. 
if I farted, you heard it. I mean, there's nothing else I can do about it. You know, I mean, um, and so I uh, think the Lord hasn't happened, but I just, so that's what it means to me. It means I'm sharing, uh, I'm serving. I love to serve and um, I want to serve faithfully under the kingdom. I want to live my best self, my purpose. And I'm thankful that I became a pharmacist. I definitely don't regret it by any stretch of the means. And I'm able to use it. And I'm thankful I became a pharmacist during the generation that I did because I was trained old school. I was trained um, very hard. They were really hard on us. Um, and a lot of debating, a lot of learning scientific language and statistics and all those sorts of things. So I have no regrets. So I'm happy that I'm that I I love to serve in a holistic way, um, dealing with your body and being able to share my vision for it to become yours, especially for children. I'm really, really concerned about this generation and the generation coming up. And I'm trying to help parents see that your kid is not being a rebellious jerk. Your kid has a, is not feeling well. I mean, yeah. Can they be a rebellious jerk? Sure. I mean, kids are, you know, they're kids, but if they're swearing at you, if they're lying to you, if they're sneaking out of the house, if they're doing things that are totally disrespectful, we have a problem. You have a problem in your hands and it's, and it's sure. not something that you can, you think that it's going to go away. Brain development does not complete until the age of 26. And I was just looking at some past slides before I came on. I did some work for the John Birch society and I'm sorry, I, I'll end with this. Um, but they were saying that chronic disease starts at the age of 27, you guys. Wow. And wow. I was doing a search on PubMed and they were having studies of because I was doing some work about mental illness in the youth. And they have some studies already out there, a good handful of them about how to help your kid deal with chronic disease. I'm like, what do you yeah. mean a study about how to help this kid deal with chronic disease? Yeah. I see this till later. Much so later. we do. So we do have a question from Cecilia. Did you want to, are you in a position to uh, ask your question or do you want to? Yeah, there you I, go. I am. I'm, I'm driving in. I'm sorry. I'm Hi. hands on the wheel. <laughs> Hi. So you, you mentioned earlier um, about ADHD and I was trying to get in my car and stuff, but I have a 16 year old who has ADHD and, it, and when I became an adult, I was told that, yeah, you have it too, Cecilia. Um, I was listening to something today that they were talking about the causes of ADHD and it, it, they were talking about biohacking. So how, how do you determine how to treat each individual or become part of the treatment of just as a whole? I'm not just talking about ADHD, but I, like my 16 year old doesn't like to take his medicine. Um, and we don't make them take it, but there's times like you can see his levels are like extreme and, and the natural foods and all that stuff. But it, it's still it's still difficult uh, for him to deal with on his own. We we have like behavioral practices, like when he notices that he's his leg is you know tapping or he's doing his pencil, like he's allowed to stand up in school and stuff. So. How do you see um, what you do impacts teens? Like that that's really what I'm looking for because sure. he's going to go away to college. And, and yes. so I'm trying to figure out how to help him. Yeah, I have both my girls on clean slate and zero in in college, 100%. So here's the thing, two answers to that question. With biohacking, be careful. There's creepy biohacking and there's not creepy biohacking. So some of the creepy stuff is like trying to put like electrodes in your brain and trying to like right. you know, do all that. That's kind of creepy. The non-creepy is get rid of the toxins first. Our kids are filled with glyphosate, which is pesticide from food and metals. You start there and get him on the zero end. The Trinity is what he needs. The Trinity is the best. And, but if he can at least do the clean slate to start, and then I, I have my email and everything, get a hold of me and I'll help guide you through the rest of the way as he's able to like, okay, mom, I'll take this next supplement or what have you. Um, but definitely you start with the toxins, get those toxins out. Cause that's, what's causing the problem. They're, they're endocrine. I forgot to mention that they're endocrine disruptors, meaning they affect our hormone development. 
So some of this gender dysphoria that we're seeing that this has nothing to do with your son. Some of this gender dysphoria that we're seeing is not only propaganda that's happening in the schools, but these kids' these hormones are so unbalanced, they actually do feel confused. It, it is a legitimate issue that's happening with them more than just as much as what's being shown to them their hormones aren't balanced so well our hormones aren't balanced i mean i I mean i'm 51 and i'm like working hard with my doctor too to like get my cells clean and hormone balanced so i'm not flashing through the night not sleeping because i'm hot and whatever right clean slate you get that started the restore no more fluoride toothpaste get fluoride out that's a huge for it's huge for everybody but especially for women we're very prone to hypothyroidism hypothyroidism is two times more in women than in men after uh, we go through menopause we are two times more likely for alzheimer's than men estrogen is a very big um, immune mediator uh, hormone it helps lower our immune system helps strengthen our immune system it helps strengthen the immune system in our brain. Um, and that's what keeps our memory. And we're thinking that Alzheimer's is not only a neurotransmitter issue, which is low in dopamine. Well, that's Parkinson's, I'm sorry, acetylcholine. But we think it actually might be a fungal issue too. And so I'm doing some research on fungus and Alzheimer's. So with, with hormone um, balance, remove those toxins. That's the first thing you do. Great. And I... I- I'm sorry, Candace, I have one more question on this. So do you sure. do blood work or do you look at blood work or like, how do you determine what somebody should take? Yeah, I can, now, I can do blood work, but here's the cool thing. I don't need to. So if I were to do blood work and I'm going to get, like I had, I have one patient who's autistic, but he came to me because he has Crohn's disease. I know full well his mitochondria is, is, is not healthy. I know, but he came to me because he has Crohn's disease and he's on biologics. So for him, I went ahead and, and I put him on something for his mitochondria, but because he had Crohn's disease that he was already diagnosed, I went ahead and drew blood work. And sure enough, his blood work was off the charts. So now I have to do something with all those numbers. He has to go on like six or seven different supplements. So what am I trying to say? The first thing you do is the cellular component of what's causing the damage. Because if I were to draw blood work, we're going to get numbers that are off the chart and you're going to feel like you have to fix every single number. (laughs) So first, we already know what the problem is. We know we're lodged with toxins, right? We know know our neurotransmitters are balanced. As you start taking these uh, cellular nutrient formulary and you start to feel better, Within three to six months, if you're like, look, I'm 75% better, I'm 80% better, here are the things that are lingering, that's when you check blood work. That's when I want to, that's when I want to know what's going on. Great. Great. Susie had a question. Did you want to unmute yourself? Trying to unmute myself. Hello, everyone. Great information. I love it. Um, Just wondering, just like um, Kandia was saying about like, hormone imbalance, what would you recommend? I've been diagnosed with it since I was 35. I'm 45 right now. And I was told that it was due to, I'm a cancer survivor too. So it was due to the chemotherapy and all those toxic things that went through my body and whatnot. Um, So what would you recommend to start with as far as those balances? Right. So I don't specialize in hormone um, treatment. For a couple of reasons. Number one, you should you should have a separate degree for it. Somebody really should should understand how to dose hormones. Physicians are overdosing hormones, and it's making people sick. Secondly, um, even if I could, I don't have a compounding license to compound it. But again, I would go back to the toxins. Mm-hmm. Move those toxins. Your hormones will balance. Get on that Trinity. Get on some Relive Greens. Um, I have a container of greens. They are the purest greens. There's no fillers in them whatsoever. It's just Coriella, Spirulina, uh, Mm. cayenne pepper, parsley. It is literally just greens. And that's how you naturally get your pre and probiotic, which will help make sex binding hormones, which will help produce your estrogen. So those are some really nice, very safe biohacking ways to do it. But again, it goes right back to the root cause. Do you ever want to talk about root cause? 
Oh, mm-hmm. the root cause is you're low in B6. No, that's not the root cause. The root cause is I'm full of metal, just like your friend told you. We're eating a credit card a day. And well, so and, and that's, that's a good point. I mean, yeah. you know, thank you. Getting you rid of your um getting rid of your plastic Tupperware even and not using um plastic water bottles or plastic water, like anything plastic to drink out of is gonna help, you know. Don't buy the organic food that has plastic wrapped around it because plastic is leaching into everything, ladies. Right. And that right. is like a huge thing that messes with our our um, hormones, right? So yep. exactly. So so um, Amber put in the chat that she's been taking Trinity for three months under your care, Dr. Fadwa, and feels like she has her brain back, her brain fog is cleared, and she has hope again to feel whole. I mean, that is fantastic to hear that. So the steps that we should take, we should email you and and then what happens? Because she yes. did this under your care. So yes. how can all of us get, in, get to feel how amazing Amber feels? Because I'm super jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can make a consultation with me. I'm going to have to open up okay. some dates. Okay. Or um, if you go under my shop page and you'll see the different companies, but the one that I've been talking about today is Root Brands. That's that's okay. my flagship one. Because that's the one that's actually understands what's going on. And you'll see a ton of videos and you'll see the Trinity there. So you can buy it on your own and let me know once. Well, I should be getting an email that you purchased something. I'll send you the ebook and I'll, and I'll, and I'll spend 20 minutes, a, a chat with you for free to just, you know, reassure you, how do you take it? What are you doing with it? But if you want to have a consultation, then yeah, I do have some services that I open for consultation uh, on my Perfect. website, applecrosswellness.com, but you certainly can buy these on your own. Definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Were there any other questions? I just wanted to make sure we all had that pathway to get to feel as good as Amber did. And Amber, thank you for sharing because that just made my heart just so happy. And I'm glad to hear that it's working because that makes me want to go put more in my cart right now that I already have. So so thank you so much. When they lose weight, it's because they're inflamed. And so the clean slate really helps a lot with that. Yeah, for sure. Yep. And we just got out a new thing called clean spirits just in time for holidays to help reduce the um, acetylhyde from alcohol. So we're trying Ooh. to help addiction, we're working on addiction. Wonderful. Just amazing. Amazing. And thank you so much, Dr. Fodwar, for coming tonight. We have learned so much and we, I feel like we've just scratched the surface of all the things that we could be learning from you. So I hope that if you guys have any questions, you reach out to her, we will put the email in the recording when we send it as well so you can find it we're so appreciative to have you um with that we do meet the first and third tuesday of every month so we will be back here and i want to make sure i say it right tuesday december 19th where we will all be talking about some things going into the new year so we're excited to have all of that and we can't wait to see you Uh, We did have our first She Brunch. So I do see some of the women on here that were here um, in Houston. I guess I wasn't there. Um, Not there now, but in Houston. It was so great to connect with all of you, see you in person, and really get to connect and make She a a household name. So we're excited. We're so excited pumped to see you in person can't wait to do that so stay tuned we will be doing more of those oh my gosh we have one more question i'm not gonna try and pronounce it i'm so sorry just unmute yourself and tell me how to pronounce your name rakshanda there you go yay dang it brooke always gets me oh i'm sorry (laughs) rakshanda go ahead what's what's your question mama it reads the way it writes and also it's a rock star Mm mm-hmm Okay. Oh, okay. I like Rockstar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I put it in the chat and maybe I'll have mentioned it. Where can we buy Trinity? And as uh, Yes, I just answered yeah. you. You can get oh, it from my website under the shop page. The company is called Root Brands. And you can also email me. I, I'm very easy to get a hold of. I can you see it on the um oh you got hands clapped. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love love the session. I love your energy. And I tried to connect with you on the LinkedIn, but they have those layers, you know. Maybe it's the pharmaceutical I have to learn how to conspiracy. Use it. I have LinkedIn, but I don't use it. I have to learn. All right. Oh, so email. Okay. I'm, I'm going email to the best. And I'm spending a week with her. And she's going to like train me and all this stuff. And then Candace too. But um, but please email me. I would love to hear from you. It was truly an honor. I'm humbled. It was an honor to be here. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Fadwa. Thank you, everyone, for taking this hour out of your busy, busy schedules to spend it with us. We are so thankful for you to be here. We're thank you, thankful that you are here to take one more step in your journey of becoming a sheep warrior like all of us. Yeah. So excited to have you here, and we can't wait to see you. Thank you all, and have a great evening. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.